welcome back to another episode of Sims 4 Witches. So as we've seen in the intro, Holly's kind of spell to allow her to carry Eve, she's kind of made some sort of deal uh, to be able to procreate with Abel when he was dead. Back a little while ago and it's starting to take a toll on her because her life has been greatly reduced. She is now an elder and it looks like she's aging at an increasing rate. We also saw a little Sammy who's kind of being very adorable right now, uh, master his domination skill which means he does now have the magic ability to cast the love spell on Braylon if he so chooses. We also saw that Seth, whilst you know he is studying magic a little bit, he's definitely finding it a lot more interesting to, uh, oh, look, look at Nick sleeping on the floor there, but he's finding it more interesting to try and talk to teenage girls. He's been prematurely made into a teenage boy but that doesn't mean the hormones didn't come with it. However, Eve is definitely not happy about this. She's annoyed that he's kind of turned his back on his magical background and that he's not studying magic with her. His focus is elsewhere and we're starting to see a little bit of a different side to Eve because she's taken out her frustrations on the girl that Sammy B was, uh, that Seth was talking to. Sammy B's not ever talked to any girls and she took her out the way Eve knows how which was to kill her on the Bluffs Island. So a lot of interesting stuff happened in the last episode and definitely we found out a little bit more about two characters and since Paul little Seth isn't in a school or anything the only way that he's able to meet people is with the Simda dating app which is basically Sim Tinder. <laughs> like he's feeling heartbroken and lonely he's like I don't know why like uh Izumi I thought we got on really well but she just never been texting me back like for days now. I don't know what the deal is, but I'm gonna find somebody else to talk to. This girl seems cute. I'm gonna get him to get in touch with her. And the easiest place for him to sneak off to is the bluffs. Kind of awkward since you don't really know that your like could have been girlfriend died there. Seth's still very oblivious. He is feeling lucky after using the mystics table. I think he's been told he's got a bright future. This is another teen as well. She's apparently into photography and having big old bushy eyebrows, which I can respect. And I kind. I just get the vibe that like Seth's are like an easy going sim. He's pretty easy to get along with. He's got the more chill side of the Villarreal jeans in him, maybe a little bit more Holly jeans. And he definitely seems pretty good at making girls like him. Like talking about their interests, he's like, oh, you like photos, that's so cool. But he's actually got a great reputation as well. He's so sweet. Look, see, no one's she's into pictures, he's like, Oh, here's some pictures I took. It's a cat, and another cat, and another cat, and another cat. You can kind of tell a part of him is like still insanely young because he gives her a gift. Oh, what a gift he gave her. Was you like Tentacle Tom, the little toy? Because in his head, there's still like a coolness about toys. So he's kind of still super oblivious to all this, even though she's given him a rose. He's like, Oh, why would I want a stupid rose? Like, I give you tentacle Tom, that's so much cooler. And okay, this is awkward. I'm vibing that he probably can't see her. But the g <laughs> the ghost of the girl that Eve killed, Zuki, is literally like right here. Watching him on his new day, being super mud and awkward. Okay, that's not great. There's a lot of this series I have to like plan because so much of it like doesn't happen naturally in game. But then stuff like the art dead like almost girlfriend seeing you flirt with your new girlfriend and then taking over your fire or she, she was killed by your sister those bits coming together there's something that only the sims randomness can do and i kind of love it so the date's gone pretty well the two of them have agreed to exchange numbers it's getting kind of late now well very late and he probably wants to sneak home he doesn't yet know that his sister's the one that got rid of the uh, other girl so he doesn't know to try and hide the stuff from her which is not great, especially when his sister's current favorite pastime just happens to be sneaking off so she can practice dark magic without her mother finding out. And if you're wondering why Holly hasn't really been noticing what's going on with her daughter, it's because she's kind of preoccupied with worrying about Sammy B. He's currently just watered all the plants for us. Thanks for that, little Sammy. They look awesome. He's pretty worried about little Sammy and the idea that he Parts might go ahead and try and use oh his uh, magic to Yalek? make a certain oh, someone oh, fall in love oh, with him. A certain little Braylon and she's kind of also worried that she's gonna run out of time to be able to guide him to the path of goodness Maga. before it's too late. But her focus on Sammy definitely means that she doesn't realize that Eve is going, okay, wow, and she's getting attacked by bees, not ideal. That Eve is already well on her way to the path of darkness. 
Oh, and wow, the cat's just definitely clawing at the corn there. Nice. She's like, look, if you do do something like uh, make somebody fall in love with you, then there is no telling the way that that spell could backfire. Plus, the feelings are never going to be true, honest feelings. They're just going to be like fake feelings created by a spell. It's not the same as true love, and it's not as strong, because nothing is as strong as true love. We're entering fairy tale <laughs> territory now. Also, you need to take your cat to a vet, or you need to try and heal him. Maybe try and heal her instead. Okay, he's gonna have a go at healing Nyx instead. See, white magic. Good magic. Wait, where's Nyx at? He's here. Good magic to be doing. Has it worked? No, the healing pets one doesn't seem to work a great deal. I'm still seeing a very red nose there amongst those Villarreal eyes, so maybe you should take him for a little vet trip. And oh my gosh, please, please stop getting uh, attacked by the bees. Look at all this evolution going on because of his magic. So beautiful. He can always attempt to increase the evolution of a plant. Like, he needs to come to uh, Willow and Yona's farm because he would sort it right out. Not that it's not good already, but he can, like, evolve all of their plants for him, which is so much better. Although his magical connection's getting really low now. His alignment is currently maxed good which is nice and our power's been shut off not so nice so he is definitely although he seems a little bit jaded like you guys are a bit worried that he could go dark his alignment is really good but he's used up a load of his magical energy so no magics for a little while okay time to take nyx from to the vet clinic one of the rare times you get off the island because we're unable to heal him with magics right now nice chance for him to go into the real world oh look yona's here with one of our sheeps <laughs> Hey, Yona. Oh, look, Bella's here as well, who is like Nathan's like Tinder friendo kind of thing. Cinder friendo. Oh, she's got a cool cat though. It's like, it's huge. It's like a little chubby lion coming in there. Okay, this little cutie pie is getting her yeah, little yeah. flea treatment. I'm pretty sure Nyx is a girl. It's like opposite sort of like gender vibe. No, it's a boy. Okay, I was wrong. I thought it was a, a girl, but it's a boy. And while he's like out and about on the town, he's like, you know what? Maybe I should just like drop Braylon like a couple of texts. Just like, you know, I'm off the island for once and I'm in Brindleton Bay. Maybe, I, I'm pretty sure he lives in Brindleton Bay. Maybe we can see if like he wants to come and hang out there's like a park just across from here we've just not seen him in ages so it would be nice for a catch-up uh, also for sammy a little magical window of opportunity okay so this is actually the first time he's seen braylon kind of since he i wish it was raining but there you go he looks happy to see him but since he left to go study witchcraft in general this is the first time we've seen him oh and he's saying hello to little nyx does nyx approve yeah, Nyx hasn't attacked him. He's not a very attacky cat, but still nice. He's like, ah, good job, Nyx. We need this one to like us, so good work not, not attacking him. <laughs> I mean, he's no Salem, but still. Oh my gosh, so Sammy was sat there, and I'm like, oh, they'll come and sit together. But then Braylon went and sat on that one. <laughs> But it's fine because Sammy went and sat next to him. And we've not seen these two together in quite a while. Braylon's got such a little cutie pie face. And they're just kind of having a little bit of a chit chat and a catch up. I feel like Braylon's keeping it like, just like, he wanted to keep the distance a bit just so that they could kind of catch up without being like, I don't know, going back to where they were before the awkwardness stage. And he's also not seen Sammy in a while. So like, he's like, I don't know, just having a more general catch up with him. If I go on like Sammy's wheel, he wants to like kiss him and like his stuff's always quite romantic but Braylon is, is just kind of keeping it very casual right now oh man and it looks like it actually oh i was gonna say it looks like it might be a bit tense and then glitchiness happened i don't know i'm kind of getting very like awkward slash i don't know like uncomfortable vibes from Braylon. he's even sitting up and going away from him he kind of looks sad. <laughs> like, they're chit chatting a little bit, but I do think he kind of looks. I don't know. Like, this, he's just feeling a little bit sad about the whole situation. Which is kind of breaking my heart because he looks so freaking cute when he's sad. We did see the family that don't do the certification curse. The family that he lives in, like, you've got a big group of people that he lives in, has a baby, and some of you guys saw it and, like, freaked out. I don't think it's his. I actually think it's from, you know, Phoenix's friend and Fran's best friend. I think it might be theirs. But just to make sure, I'm going to, like, ask about babies anyway. Oh, my gosh, you're making some kind of weird dead joke. Here's some bad news from Bray. He didn't like whatever that was. It's like he w wants to tell him bad news. He doesn't have kids. There you go. He doesn't have kids. He does need to pee that. No! What are you doing to him? You're giving him a bladder curse? Whatever bad news Braylon told him before, he's mad about. Don't him 
embarrass him. Oh my gosh, you're so- Oh, the temptation of like dark magic is just way too strong on him. Do the hygiene charm spell uh, to him. Grovel. Like he just can't resist it. He can't resist yeah, like being- Liba. If someone tells him something he doesn't like, ah, even ah, brilliant, ah, he can't ah, resist ah, using dark magic. Now that he's used it once, it's just really hard for him to stop. And there we go. Okay, we've used the, the hygiene charm on him. But he's still feeling super embarrassed and low. And now you're just swooping in with a compliment in appearance. Oh, he doesn't like it! Okay, okay, this this has kind of gotten quite awkward. Um, um, let's ask if he is single. Because you know he doesn't have a baby, but just find out if he's single. Because that might be why he just... Oh, wow, this guy's totally just crushing the party. Uh, please can you not? He is single, so he's not in a relationship. But he's still being- why are you still being mean to him? Stop doing the bladder curse on him! Stop messing with his emotions like this, you're so mean, Sammy! Why- where has this come from on you? Maybe Holly's right to worry about you. Wow, well, he's giving him an absolute thumbs down right now. He- he- well. This is kind of going really badly. And Sammy's gonna try and do- I asked him to do a, a smooth apology on him. Smooth recovery, try and do a smooth- uh, kid, like, totally crushing up high. Try and do a smooth recovery, see if you can get him in a flirting mood again. Cause your- your, like, love for each other is, like, literally half right now. Nix is like, I'm not sure if this is a good idea, Sam Sam. Okay, he wants to try and flirt with him. He- he is still susceptible to a flirt. But afterwards seems to, like, really, really regret it. Oh! Oh my gosh, Sammy, what did you just try to do? Oh, Braylon's complaining to him. And his do his domination experience is, uh, is fading. Sammy B is on the verge of forgetting aspects of domination if he doesn't use a spell again soon. Well, Sammy, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna ask what was the deal with the girl in the bar that he saw before. Because this has just kind of gone so, so awkwardly. Braylon's mortified and looks like he wants to be anywhere but here. Like, look at him. He literally looks so sad right now. He's in love with the Nadine. He's in love with Nadine. And now he's- Where are you going? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I feel like if this is the way that he's been with Sammy and Sammy needs to practice his domination spell, I feel like this is like a real test for Sammy. And oh my gosh. Like healthy, non-messed up relationship. Is Micah texting him saying he can't get you out of his mind recently? Want to go on a date and get some dinner at the Riverdale Pop Chocolate? Oh my gosh, what does he do? What does he do? What does he do? Does he choose like a good path and just say, say like, I've got to go and leave and go see Micah? Or does he try and do the domination spell on Braylon? Oh, he's been like rejected by him like a few times in just this like a half an hour period. But he's definitely feeling angry and like he wants to try and do like he's already done a few spells on him which have been kind of wicked. And his domination is fading. I don't feel like Sammy is the kind of strong. Where, who are you putting the toadification curse on? Who did you just cast that on? Please don't do the toadification curse, okay? I feel like he'd be incredibly tempted by dark magic like he's literally covered in it right now oh wow he cast it on joseph like seriously and if he's getting out some of his frustrations there i don't know i feel like dark magic is like very tempting once you've tried it like a few times and he's enhanced braylon's neil nix is like yeah i didn't agree to this i'm out of here and now all he needs to do is in in uh use the subjugation spell on him and after that he basically becomes more or less his minion and he can decide whether to make him flirty to make him feel things to make him fall in love but despite this i'm just not sure I'm just not sure if Sammy B is truly that bad. I just don't think he is. I just don't feel like Sammy is a bad guy. And I feel like as much as he wants Braylon's attention, I don't think he chooses to do it this way. So I'm gonna get him to dispel the, attack, the enchantment that he's got on him. I'm not sure how well trying to flirt with him immediately after is gonna go over Sammy. I mean, look at his face. Like, instead, he's gonna make Braylon forget everything that happened today by casting some white magic on him just to make him forget everything and try and make him feel better. So there we go. He's forgotten what Sammy did, that Sammy made him kneel. And although this is hard for Sammy, he does need to let Braylon go. 
<laughs> Witches apparently don't get scared easily. <laughs> that is what Sammy has had to do with little Braylon, especially since he said he's in love with somebody else. He did resist the urge to cast any black magic on him, but it's definitely not been an easy day for Sammy. I will say though that if there is a little bit of uh, Lilith's soul in Nyx, she's gonna be proud of his decision and the fact that he made the right decision today. Okay, little Sammy, time for you guys to come home. Although this is all very adorable and sad, but mainly adorable. So Sammy seems actually in like surprisingly good spirits. I thought he'd be really sad, but he seems like he knows that he, although it was a hard decision, sometimes it's a bit like a weight off sh your shoulders when you made the right one. In fact, Holly's downstairs. Why don't you tell Holly? I think it would put Holly's mind at ease and make her feel pretty happy to know that her teachings helped Sami made the right decision and I think if there is a little bit of like Nyx's soul inside Lilith like her being there to guide him to put him on the right path too so all in all it's pretty nice and look he lost some of his uh magical spells from not but some of his magical power from not being able to use them but he like lost the negative stuff, so that's fine. Holly's downstairs kind of meditating on the future. And Eve's feeling sad because her social and fun are really low. Probably because all you ever do is like practice magic. Why don't you guys like have like a nice little chat together or something as like you are like brother and sister and sort of help each other out with the social a little bit. Maybe Eve wouldn't be as tempted to do like dark stuff if she actually got like a little bit more conversation out of you guys. If you guys got on a little bit better. Although you're very, oh wow. Wow, you're in a really bad mood, Jeez. Seth. Like, what you're angry stuff. about the chair you being ripped up and about, oh, your school jerks. project that was wrecked on the floor. Yeah, so I kind it. of feel like uh, maybe Eve did that. Uh, but Eve actually pardon. seems genuinely happy when, like, Seth Bunk actually roll. talks to her and, like, so gives big. her attention and they get on pretty well. But a lot of what Seth's talking about right now is, like, uh, showing off about woo-woos and, like, talking about what woo-woos are. Basically not stuff she's super interested in, but also letting it slip that well it's not letting it slip because he doesn't know what she's like but letting it slip that he like snuck off and met up with a girl on the bluffs island eve kind of going to bed looking kind of mud i mean you're meant to be sleeping although your eyelashes okay by the way do you like that her hair's slightly grown out in this episode kind of going to bed being like well how am i supposed to spend any time with him if all he ever does is sneak off to meet girls and he's obsessed with talking about girls i'm so sick of it and i sort of feel like every time i look at holly she's kind of looking older and older. I don't think she's got much time left, gang. After chatting with Seth and learning that he's got uh, another secret girl, Eve's looking pretty in a foul mood today. I feel like Seth's kind of oblivious. But yeah, she she ain't happy. So Holly's like, oh, I want to gather for like breakfast so we can eat it together today. Like, how is your uh, magical studies going, guys? Like, witches are like a dying breed. There's not many of us left, especially not with your bloodline. Oh, so no. you should definitely like try and practice as much as you can. I'm here to help with anything you need. So just make sure you like talk to me as much as you can while I'm still around, okay? The kids have apparently fallen out with each other again though and are kind of too angry to pay too much attention to what she's saying. They know their mum looks older, but don't forget, like even though they're teenagers, they're still like age wise and mentally there's still a big part of them that's still kids because they aged up so fast so i don't think they're quite grasping the gravity of like how much older their mum looks you've been particularly angry because she's got a sneaky suspicion that seth plans to sneak out to the island again today and if he does then she's gonna follow him but what do you know he does <laughs> while seth is out here experiencing first love or at least trying to Eve is definitely watching over and probably feel even even angrier now that her brother just got rejected. Thinking that she's like coming over to help since he just got embarrassed. But this is like, again, they're like kids that don't really quite understand what things mean when uh, you play with people's emotions. So I've been like, what are you doing? You can't just do that to people. Like, have you gone mad? Why are you even here? Eve's like, have I gone mad? You're the one out here like messing with mortals instead of practicing your magic. Like, are you joking? Why are you even wasting your time getting upset about, like, these people? You're a witch, Seth. <laughs> kind of meaner than Hagrid, though, it has to be said. And I feel like she might be getting away whilst these guys are arguing, but not if Eve's got anything to say about it. Oh my gosh, I actually don't know if this will work while she's trying to run away. Oh my gosh, yes, it still will. She's done the fire dancer spell on her. 
which causes her to dance while she's on fire, which definitely looks pretty painful, it has to be said. Seth teleporting over to see if he can help. Trying to get her to stop, let him go from the spell. But it is too late because, yep, yeah, Eve has claimed herself yet another victim. And this is the first time I've ever seen a Sim do this. I don't know if it's because he's a witch, but he's yelling at the Grim Reaper, taking out his anger, being like, what is wrong with you? That's a teenage girl that a witch has just brought to you, a witch that apparently does not care. But apparently yelling at the Grim Reaper does absolutely nothing because he's not able to try and save her soul. And Eve's black magic is claimed yet another soul yet another love interest for seth as well seth who's like i'm telling mom Run, running back home right now to go and tell mom exactly what you've been doing so both kids have run back to go and tell holly who's contacting the spirits but while the kids are rushing so seth can tell his mom what eve has done it's already too late for Eve, who the spirits have called back to them so that she can kind of pay, repay her debts, which means, guys, that is the end of Holly. I did want to do a death animation here, but the game was just absolutely not playing fair with me at all. But now that is the end of Holly. She stuck around long enough to try and teach her kids everything she knew, but didn't realize that one of them was taking a very, very dark path. Sammy B has picked a more positive path, which is good, but it's still uh, it's still kind of worrying about Eve. So let me know if you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm sorry I couldn't show you the death animation. It just kept glitching out, which was super, super annoying. And I'll see you next time for what's probably going to be the final episode of Sims 4 Witches. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.